talk about um, uh, actively communicating the changes of policies and procedures. Um, what do hoteliers need to do there? So, I mean, sorry, Ian, you go first. I was from more of a systems perspective, at least it, it is important to make sure your systems are going to behave the way you're going to need them to on the front end to your guests. We've had a, an extremely large client need to change policies across thousands of reservations and re push them between systems. So, um, while it's a great topical idea, there are implications that of your systems and that updates that need to be made in those systems, addressing specific reservations that you have coming in during those periods and things. So while it's a great idea, definitely think through the steps of what it takes to implement that. It's uh, not as simple as a front facing email message or a website banner that tells someone some information. There may be some back end system related changes, alterations, and updates you're going to need to make to facilitate that change. But don't let any of those hinder you from making them. Uh, but just know it, it may be a little more involved than uh, first believed if you're going to address existing or previous reservations as well. Yeah, I think that's really good advice. I mean, as a first step, I, I think we touched on it a little bit earlier, but I think as a, as a first step, it's really important that hotels um, think about the pre, during and post uh, stay experience. Now, one thing which we've seen is that I'm sure um, wherever you are in the world, you've probably seen a similar thing is that the guidance changes, the rules change. And this happens quite frequently and trying to keep everything up to date can be tough. It's a good idea if you are able to, to have somebody who's on point for checking what the latest guidance is, um, knowing which sources to rely on. And, and one of the things that we found is that it's generally safest to have someone who is uh, if possible, of course, in touch with the with the local authorities. If that and, and some local authorities are providing um, some kind of a point person on their side to keep hospitality vendors up to speed with with the latest stuff. But certainly, government advice. There's a lot of nonsense out there on social media. There are a lot of rumours flying around, and that's generally not a good thing to rely on in terms of informing your policies and procedures. Certainly, the, regu the regulatory environment is. To have someone on point who is able to keep an eye on what the current advice is and empowered to communicate that in a forum where uh, that is communicated to your managers on the ground, the people who need to know about these things, whether it's housekeeping from a, from a room cleaning perspective, whether it's front of staff in term, front of de front desk or other front of house in terms of informing guests when they arrive with certain situations, make sure those lines of communication are clear. Sending emails to people is a great start in terms of what um, you're doing and what the policies are in your hotel, but also on arrival, having a visible presence as well as well as things like hand sanitizer, having, which I'm sure most people are doing, but making sure people can actually see that you're putting these policies in place. Um, in some countries, people are being advised to provide masks to staff. In other countries, they are, and that's, that's something which is worth looking at the local regulations on. But also, when things do change, keep your guests in the loop as well. I mean, it can just be as simple as printing something out and pushing it under room doors if um, situations change. We've seen instances of people from particular countries being in a hotel and then the rules changing in terms of those people being able to get back home again. And when they're out, when they're doing stuff, they're not always checking the stuff all day long. So your guests will thank you and thank you in the future and come back to you if you help to keep them informed of policies, procedures, and what's going on in the world as well. But I think the worst thing you can do is nothing because as I touched on earlier, we have seen some people who are kind of like, I just don't want to know about it. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to talk about it. And that's, that's not what we, we would recommend is the best thing to do because either you're going to end up in a situation where People are going to go to your because they feel safer there. Or you're going to get up in a situation where, because you haven't followed the procedures properly, because people don't know uh, what the correct procedures are, you're putting your own staff, your own guests, your own um, partners uh, in danger, which is, which is kind of irresponsible. So do follow the rules, communicate the rules, 
keep your guests involved and make sure you're thinking pre, during and post in terms of how you communicate uh, what's happened. And again, when I talk about post there, um, we've seen unfortunately examples of hotels where a guest has tested positive. Um, it's important to help the authorities uh, and post and guests who stayed at your hotel be aware of that because they might need to go and get tested. So keeping that full chain of communication in play is really, really critical during this period. 